on the uh, basic phase of the other creatures that they, they have a right to exist as they, they, they have. Yeah, it's it's a uh, satire on uh, uh, reli on people like abusing religious freedom to do stupid stuff and, or, uh, or get advantages. Some people really try to there because they can't get uh, uh, like a passport wow, these photo getting busy. or or a driving license photo on their hat. Yeah, because they have a... Um, I don't even know what they're called. But they... So you can't see it. But like, uh, yeah, example, a example... protest Whoa. against burkas and stuff. Yes. It's it's a protest against uh, uh, countries that, that are basically saying, saying that you can't have a hat. Yes, in time. If yeah. you don't have that certain... Yeah. I find it funny how you can make a religion out of a protest. Interesting. Indeed. But that's what happened in there. And yeah. I, I'm I'm really laughing laughing to, to them there that they <laughs> why mm. they just don't join in the, the real religions and get the. Uh, Basically, the right to use the hat in the photo. Well, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, wh why don't they? Uh, Example. No, they, no, man. Let's just they, talk game. Play. If they join in the Jewish uh, religion, they can use the Jewish hat in yeah. the in the <laughs> photo. Yeah. But then they have to hold up to the Jewish standard, so they would have to get certain decisions. I'm gonna yeah. wear a, a <laughs> fez on my next uh, driver's license. For... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're awesome. Oh. Suck. Yeah, I've been looking at the fucking main base to try to find parakeets. Oh, duck. duck okay. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Why I didn't hear you joining in this case? It was because uh, of the Pastafari <laughs> They compelled you. Pasta monsters. Yeah, it's, it's, that's it's that's real. What, it's really that's happened. What, that's what, uh, that is their, um, their god, basically. The yeah. pasta monster. Or like pizza lo monster. Oh, I is too, hello. No. Oh, it was you. <laughs> when I joined, I heard something about wearing a fez and circumcision. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> a great out of the, <laughs> out of the topic bits. Great. Hmm. Yeah, so, so Tropical wants to wear a fez just because he wants to wear a hat to driving me. And I told that if Pastafariani joined the Jewish religion, then they would have to get the person to know she didn't believe him. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. I think we're taking all the good tanks, we now have only the crappy one. I really don't feel comfortable with the T-34. There's, there's an IS-1 at the base. Uh, I got a T-34. T-34 is not T-44 for a meter. No, T-34, not that I said 44. Fuck, no. I like killing you in the tank. I had, uh, I, I really, 
Ah, uh, I'm losing the word. <laughs> you killed me so hard that uh, your English dropped. <laughs> I really used some time Oh yeah. yeah. I was, at first I was really happy to then, uh, I walked. And I so uh, are you gonna visit uh, Santa in Rovania? This the Santa Where? Uh corner, no. I don't have an infection, but everything in is basically closed. Okay. And the Santa is not an exception. Santa is not happening. This, um, I wish... Uh, I wish Corona disappeared. That's my Christmas wish. Yeah, that'd be nice. Maybe, they, <laughs> maybe you should turn that to... I'm really, I'm really on the side of like wishing the office right now for uh, my exams are, are meant to be remote oh as long as, as long as the situation is bad in Tiger Fun Lake. Oh man, I feel so <laughs> sorry for everyone studying. Like, if, if, I, if I really am going to do the exams in person now, I'm gonna die. I'm just Mm. I don't want to be doing these and some fun things to be in person. No. I didn't even choose that in, um, module and it just appeared in my system and I don't want to. <laughs> How was it? Get you. Luckily. Because I am a cook and uh, yeah. I can't work. Oh. So, of course. Yeah. And I even have to go to quarantine even when I test the, do the test. Oh yeah. Ah, took him down with me. Well, Easy pick it. He's definitely gonna ban this today. It's taken yeah. uh, me, Hog, and Enrico Blazzo about 10 minutes to find the parakeets at this base, and now we're about to take off. There's only three of them. Oh man. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, I'm gonna get shot down. Pew, 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 pew. I survived. What the hell's going on with my KV-85? Damn, Stefan. What map is next? Oh! Oh! Is that the one with the... Um, with the boats? Yeah, the Viking boat. Oh, that, that map... Uh, I haven't played it. Man... Uh, 32 players, it would be unplayable. Hmm... So, so I like it. No, it, it would be... it would be... Uh, fun and uh, it, it interesting. Be... It's... Uh, it's... It's got tanks, infantry, it will be some a boats, uh, artillery. It's it's a good map. Which map? But, but don't, don't neglect the small maps just because we have lots of players. Because well, they're, I, they're, I they're have fun seen as hell. Mm -hmm. many I, have, players. I have seen players. I have seen players. On Kabul, it, the small it's maps are the best. It's Players or 50 players, it was massive. 
It gives me a, a, a Oh, uh, boo boo. Gives me an excuse to yeah. shout. You finish. check your Discord Excuse later on. Okay. Um, basically, I was thinking about doing an event for FHSW specifically to get a bigger streamer involved. Okay. Quack. Yeah. And I was almost driving off map. <laughs> I think I got the crappiest tank possible if it goes for heavy armor. This not what's wrong with the flags. Because it only has a 45 millimeter and a flamethrower. I'm in a tank on the front line. Well, I can land there. What? Uh, there's I a windmill. If you land there, you hit a windmill. Nope. You'll see. Oh, what the fuck? At landing. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I don't find it cool, though. Yeah, it's, a, uh, it's unclear. They should have put it in the minimum. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you landed. It really is not making sense for a lot of players. Yeah. And, and, and it used to be the other way around, and now it doesn't make sense at all. It can't be SSM? Uh, don't know. I think they, they put it into. Fast. Yeah, I'm doing my best. <laughs> yeah, I think they put it into like um, a co the file itself. Okay. Boo boo, there's some kits up to your west if you want to try to get one. West. Okay. Oh, and west. Like where that green tent is. Camo okay. tent. Uh, yep. There's racks by the crates. Oh. And there's like one pair of kits. It's really fucking weird. There's like <laughs> no kits. Great. I got great. Did, did you make your list? No list? No, no. Wait, no. Which list from fuck? <laughs> uh, no. Add, add oh, more. Yeah. Add, add more pair of list and pair kits. Let's go. I'll, I'll take the horse. Okay. You need, to, you need to go to the North Pole after, after this game. I'm gonna bring you fucking coal for Christmas. Big bag of coal. You, you, you must prepare yourself uh, ratings and... Uh, okay. Rape Santa. Rating, rating. You get violated. Where, well, radio, you bastards. <laughs> violated. I like this. Terrible word. <laughs> oh no. It's like a step past rape. It's just too far. You, you just can't even say it. You gotta say violate it. <laughs> yeah, you got your car, car feud because you need to drive to North Pole after this. <laughs> it, it is said. No. Now, now everybody must keep their list so he goes uh, to I'll, the I'll just send it to Santa and he'll wipe his ass with it. There was a commercial like a couple of years back nice there, talk. Nice. when Santa just wiped his ass with, with all the letters. <laughs> Yeah, from the kids. You even showed like the kids like writing the letter <laughs> and then you just Evil Santa them. then. <laughs> That's yeah. a Slovakia commercial. <laughs> <laughs> just just shit on the kids. It's like this is what you this is what Santa thinks of your wishes. <laughs> oh. 
in, oh. in Finland the, uh, there's no uh, Coca-Cola commercial here. Santa tries the truck, truck and <laughs> it's it's kind of funny when that has been shown basically ever and now it's don't forget, we have the Dutch hand, a totally different version. <laughs> and uh, in Finland, to the kids, they tell that there's, uh, there's elves uh, watching kids from the videos and stuff everywhere. <laughs> and, uh, and they basically the report fear mongering. They, they mm -hmm. basically uh, report to Santa uh -oh. a nice input. And some Finnish uh, stand up comedian uh. told, told that the, uh, <laughs> it is not actually. Yes! Not, not any. any uh, like. Uh, Yes! Oh my god, I'm yes. forgetting the bird. <laughs> it's, it's not scary at all that they, they watch you. I will die. The die. <laughs> <laughs> no, not a grenade! And you guys really damaged my uh, KV-9. Heavy tank. I love this KV-9. Uh oh! Uh. say that uh, you mean why yeah uh, I'm stuck in UK it's uh, like I'm stuck with my brother and my mom so it's not that bad but the other brother is in Slovakia so... oh yeah. man yeah that's why I really I was planning to go more relaxed in UK Where's your other brother? Uh, back in Slovakia. So your mom lives in England? Uh, like we moved in the UK together. Oh, okay. He was, she was, she, um, two years ago, she, um, uh, retired. So, she found a point with he's on the one. Uh, it's a it's raven down. Yes, I'm coming to bring peace, forever peace. No, that was not. <laughs> I just wonder if uh, my family will uh, basically uh, celebrate Christmas mm -hmm. together because. Mm -hmm. Everybody are in different places. Yeah. Hmm. Great. Um, like, example, great. my big sister lives in in the capital, and yep. uh, the capital area is one of the most dangerous places uh, now because there's uh, so much corner going on there. Uh, well, I wouldn't say dangerous. It, it is actually, it is. Hmm. 
No good things in the main base at all, except for, well, assault gun. What's Dutch Santa like, E3? Well, let's just say he looks kind of like a bishop. <laughs> well, he, he is a bishop, basically. Cool. And the helpers are still black, but there has been some so major controversy about them that they're currently changing color. Oh, no. oh wow. We have oh, now currently blue ones, red ones, pink <laughs> ones, you I'm not kidding. What the fuck? Oh yeah. Uh oh. I forgot to get into bridge. Yeah, I'm so dead. Finish some days. Much like the American Santa. But uh, he lives at the. basically at the Arctic uh, Circle. At oh, okay. the uh, at place basically called Ear Mountain in uh. Finnish. And our Santa Claus always comes out of Spain. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Literally. And uh, uh, yeah, our Santa basically moves with the uh, sled and. Which is basically pulled out by, by reindeers. Yeah. And as I told uh, uh, there, <laughs> the kids have been told with that the, there will be uh, little elves which look like Santa Claus and uh, dress like Santa Claus, and they uh, basically help Santa Claus and gather up the reports. Okay, that's essentially what we tell everybody in the U.S. But, but it must be ma cool. Ma major difference. Can you guess what that stuck in American and Finnish? Well, Santa. Uh, you guys actually fucking have reindeer up there, and we all have to pretend to think about what a reindeer is. No. Raven, your three your Santa always visits at night and brings up the uh, presents when. Uh, kids are sleeping. Where the fuck? Our Santa uh, always visits at the whole family. No good and things. They gather up and the Santa always uh, gives the presents when he's at the at the visiting. Mm. And there, there's like uh, basically like uh, singing, singing Christmas songs and the uh, they. They basically uh, talk books which Santa and sometimes uh, little kids basically can write on the Santa's knee. That's like a traditional finish. So, so it's like a daytime, like a festival kind of thing? Or yeah, be... yeah, kind of first of all like a thing, but usually the evening, evening after, okay. uh, after 6 o'clock. So, you celebrate on 24? Yes. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, that's really, that's really interesting. Yeah. Well, if you actually want to know about the dot Santa Claus, just ask. Hmm? <laughs> For one, we don't have reindeer, we don't have uh, elves, we don't have... Well, a sled. Basically, our Santa Claus comes by steamboat. <laughs> <laughs> steamboat Willie. That's awesome. so I'm not kidding, it's a steamboat and then he comes by horse the rest of the way. That's awesome. Okay, that's fine. Alright. We're changing our Santa Claus and whatever Santa Claus. Like, we. There's a huge. Um, 
Um, like there was a shift to kind of call them like American type of a thing, but mm. a lot of times it's just like it's cool. <laughs> it doesn't make sense because our like our presents are brought by Jesus. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus of Nazareth, Nazareth brought like brings all the kids a present. That is it interesting. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> and so. before it was like uh mm, it was taken from Russians. Uh a different like <laughs> a third funny. like a third way was taken from Russians and uh Gidmra. Uh um, Grandpa, Grandpa Frost. So Jesus was kidnapped by the Russians. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, <laughs> no, no, no. No, it was just like there are like three ways of celebrating, or three ways to what you believe from Christmas. Right. One of them is like American way, so Santa Claus. The second one is like Russian way, so. Uh, grand, grandfather, grandpa, frost, and the other way is Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and neither makes sense. Yeah, after Jesus healed the blind man, he had to get in his sleigh and <laughs> get all the presents together to bring to the kid. <laughs> Like we literally say, like little little Jesus will bring you this and that. He was like, okay, <laughs> okay. That's funny. So what's yeah. the Russian one? It's like a grandfather frost. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's a new user comes from this year. Oh. That is so interesting. Yeah, he like, he like, he's like, uh, grand, like an uncle. I can't speak anymore, great. I'm like Gina. Uh, he's like an old man that brings frost to, uh, forest, uh, nature. And yeah. freezes everything upon a touch of his, uh, <laughs> magic wand. So he's like Arnold Schwarzenegger, like Mr. Freeze. <laughs> He's just, yeah. just like Ivan the Terrible meets Santa Claus, <laughs> and he, he just like kills half of the people yeah. that he runs into. Wow. Fucking hell, yeah, basically. I'm just surprised at how different our celebration is compared to the rest of the world, <laughs> basically. Right. Because, well, even even the Santa Claus you believe in, Boo Boo, is, it has some roots in the American version. Well, yeah. some. But uh, the Dutch Santa Claus is like totally different. But mm. uh, saddest thing, this is actually just history in the Europe and North America. Oh yeah. And this is fully, basically, saddest thing. It's based on religion, mm. and the Islamic religion, Jews and uh, Asian religions and even African religions they don't uh, they, they just think that our religion Christmas is a capitalist way to basically well. get uh, well sell presents mm. oh my God. and gather, gather up money that's, that's really how they believe it well, they are technically wrong. I mean, basically, it's being used for that. <laughs> yes, and it's uh, in our belief, it's really a celebration. And yeah, yeah, and the true form, yeah, it's instead the companies and uh, factories and stuff like that. They mm. get money from. Sell, selling the presents. 
Yeah. But, but you know, uh, I, they kind of think that, but in the end, they here in UK, they all go to like they all they all have the same holidays. And they mm. they still do the same as we do. And if they like don't want to do it, then just if they don't want if they don't agree with Christmas, then just go to work. I don't care. <laughs> Good game, guys. Good game. Indeed, good game. Like, they, good game. they get the benefit, but they don't uh, celebrate Christmas, so, like, stop at least criticizing it. Like, it's Christian or, well, European tradition, then stop criticizing it. I stole in your Christmas. Yeah. That's nice. You're the Grinch now. <clears throat> How you doing, Raven? Hi, Raven. Okay. Your voice is very different on PS3. <laughs> Raven, you get a block of granite for Christmas. I got on you. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually wondering if uh, if candy is also themed in Christmas. Ow. In your countries and in, in the around the world, I mean for mm. Santa specifically for that celebration. Candy. Yeah. Yeah, there is. Oh. There's a lot of candies. But yeah. specifically only for that period. Yeah. Ours would be more for um, Easter and Halloween would be candy, not so much Christmas. I think the big thing with our Christmas is supposed to leave out cookies for Santa to eat. Uh, by the fireplace, but you know, people buy kids candy and stuff, but it doesn't have like a specific part in our Christmas. We don't give anything to Santa about. It. Uh, about <laughs> it's not about to Santa. It's <laughs> no, no, no. Fuck your Santa, yeah. Oh, not to Santa. It, it basically Santa gives that specific candy to the kids. Uh, okay, cool, yeah. Uh, and uh, you talked about the. Halloween oh my and gosh. Easter. Oh, my microphone is muted for the Halloween, Twitch stream. That's we weird. Celebrate mm. Easter. During the back screen. But mm. unlike American Eastern, where Bunny uh, basically <laughs> gives. Uh, right. We actually, traditionally, uh, we believe that the eggs will be given by a chicken. You, you will, or, you will or love, a, you will love this. Or a cock. Basically. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, in Slovakia and Czech Republic, we just whip our women with like sprouts. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, and throw buckets Ooh. of water. F fuck the women. What? <laughs> we we <laughs> we basically whip uh, girls with with uh, sprouts. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, boo -boo. but what is a girl? <laughs> I never seen this before. <laughs> Raven doesn't recognize. Yeah, Raven has issues. Ah. Uh. But yeah, we we whip them and we throw them in rivers or or throw buckets of water at them. And yeah. We wish them a lot of help. Is that actually a celebration or something? What the hell is this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is in Poland, Czech Republic, and Slovakia. And it's, uh... They, they, they paint the eggs uh, with, with colors and uh, all sorts of, like, uh, ornaments. And they give the eggs to the boys uh, as a reward for whipping them. And... <laughs> And throwing them in the water. And what yeah. the oh man, <laughs> that's like witchcraft celebration. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I seriously, our Santa's then totally. I mean, the Santa Claus celebration with the candy I'm talking about. We have well, basically, we have chocolate letters. The letters always in your name. Oh. And we have well, filled chocolate letters, pure white. You name it. And then we oh, have. Nice. 
we have Krautnoten, which is very specific, a very specific taste. Oh gosh, I love that taste. <laughs> and we even have uh, Amandos Piccolas. I don't even know the English translation for that. But, uh, Bubu, for, yeah. for your Slovak Eastern uh, celebration, yeah. we, we have kinda the same, but not exactly the same thing oh. in Finland, but that's in summer. Mm. Ooh. We have okay. Midsummer Festival, which is kind of huge festival because the uh, basically the daytime when the uh, after Christmas our light time basically gets longer, oh, and, yeah. and yeah. it ends in the Midsummer Festival, and then the time starts to get shorter. Right, daytime. And and uh, in Midsummer Festival, we basically just drink beer, eat well, and we have some song. Oh. And it, usually that time, we uh, basically we gather up uh, some uh, not trees, but what's mm -hmm. about it? Uh, yeah, like the sprouts, like... Yeah, yeah. sprouts, and we make whip from them. Yeah, and yeah, we whip exactly. Each, we yeah. whip e each other to our backs <laughs> in the in the sun. Oh, so in that's, the mid, uh, that's in very the similar. Yeah, okay. it's very very similar. It's in sauna uh, mm -hmm. in Midsummer Festival, and it's basically for everybody's health. Yeah, exactly. We, we don't beat each other to death, basically. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just no. it's just like like a light light whipping. Gift. Just a nice easy yeah. whipping to keep you in line, kind of, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, basically, it keeps everybody health healthy when when we do that. Well, that is so funny. We have one weird thing in the new year. It's called the New Year's Dive. <laughs> Basically, you have a bunch of crazy people, they dive into the ocean, even though the ocean is like one degree Celsius or colder. Ooh. And they stay in there for a little while and then they run back, drink a half cup of soup and hope they actually don't get sick. Wow. That's epic. So like a good, good amount of people get sick every year? Uh, probably. Because the water is like one degree <laughs> Celsius. Gosh, that's so cold. Uh, so, E3, with your Christmas, does Santa bring the chocolate letters? Not Christmas. Our Santa Claus comes on the 5th of December. After that comes Christmas. Oh! oh. Okay. So you have you have it like uh, Saint Nicholas. Uh, yes, Saint Nicholas. Yeah, we have that as well, and we like kids put uh, they clean their boots and they put them to windows. So. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's that's exactly the same because you yeah. you put the boots there. You, you children have to put their boots, and <laughs> parents put in chocolate candy. Yes. The civic candy with like chuck. We even have mini chocolate letters. So. Yes, that's that's exactly. I know what you're talking about. Oh, that's cool. Our country got independence <laughs> during St. <Saint> Nicholas. <laughs> Let's shift from chocolate to independence. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I know, I know. It's the day after that, on the, the, the 6th of December, you have the uh, Finn War celebration. No, no, no. no. We, our country got independence back. Mm. I'm not talking about, about the Finn Wars. I just brought up a new news. It's the only time that, you've, that Mart actually becomes active. Oh, fuck. <laughs> anyway, I give Xanax instead the chocolate. Anyway, Morvan, I wasn't talking about reinforcing that when I brought up that news. Mm. Well, no, but it's like connected, like... Yeah, it's kind of connected. Yeah. It's, it's... Anyway. It's just Oh. It, it, uh. is kind of, it is kind of funny that uh, if it will be correctly, 
uh, the Russians, they basically, the uh, Lenin, Lenin's Bolshevik Sorry, Republic, uh, they recognized our country in 31st, uh, 31st or the 1st of January. Uh, I mean, 31st of uh, December or 1st of January, I don't remember that correctly. But if it will, will be, if somebody would look that way, uh, our independence will be actually legitimate uh, on that day. Huh. So weird thing is that we don't celebrate it. Why we don't celebrate it on that day when we actually got the independence? Because you were all drunk that day, so you just thought let's celebrate the next day. <laughs> uh, no. Okay. But I, I guess I guess it's just because uh, we declared our independence on sixth of December. You, see, you just told yourself like let's, let's declare it one day later to confuse everyone. Uh, yeah, we saw the situation in oh, yeah. Russia back in 1917 when there was the October Revolution going on. Yep, yeah. and everything was going on uh, to the uh, civil war, and uh, ah. that's when our country leaders just decided that we should form our own country. Yeah. That's this story in the sort of way told. Bolsheviks didn't anticipate that oh, radio. the Russian Empire will, will fall apart. I mean, they, they, they hoped that they could reconcile the forces, get the Finland back. Yeah, yeah, and the it Baltic is, states. It, yeah, it's not that uh, both of you are so generals. Yeah, the yeah, that's that's the thing. The Lenin had the plan that uh, he basically knew that every uh, country, w what he gave the independence, uh, would have a uh, socialist revolution coming up, and. Uh, that way he could get those uh, countries back into Russia. That, that's what he planned. Oh. Yeah, but it didn't actually happen. How, the way how, it is, no. how is Christmas in Russia, radio? Oh, you mean in, in which sense? Like, uh, uh, what are your... Uh, um, like, yeah, originalities or... Uh, Traditions. So uh, every thirty-first of December. Oh, uh, um, well, I guess it goes back to the to that Saint Nicholas uh, mm -hmm. legend, just adapted into uh, to Russian realities. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's similar, like, kind of letter like that. Okay. Uh, every year, uh, fat. Oh, not not actually fat. Slim, slim, slim. Uh, old man just hand out uh, uh, leaves uh, presents under the, under under the Christmas tree. Oh, okay. Oh, what about the dead moro? Yeah, yeah. Still a thing? I mean, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean him. Okay. Equivalent of Santa Claus, but mm -hmm. yeah. he has much cooler clothes uh. than Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, during communism, like that, that was um, uh, installed in, in my country, but never caught on really. Some, some, some prefer to call perform that. Oh. Mars just looked like a bishop, and it's lately a bishop. Mm. Yeah, I was interested because we had a topic about Christmas, and I yeah, <laughs> I wasn't sure if, if that's still a thing or it was a thing of the past. No, 
Oh, you wet, target. Finally got one kill. Fired 300 rockets and I killed one person. Okay, I spotted. <laughs> it's a good balance. Right. You know, and I actually think. Reloading, Raven. When I think about the independence celebration for Finland, we have kind of something, well, doubled, I guess. Because we have King's Day in the Netherlands, which technically is a celebration of the fact that we have a king. Long live the king. Oh, the König. Okay. Yeah, that's Long live the König. Well, it's basically an excuse normally to throw a one big giant party. And I'm not kidding, I mean basically the entire Netherlands then normally would be partying. Oh lord. That would... That would not be good thing. Hello. Hello. You. Hello team. Hello team. So yeah, then we have King's Day, and I think the origins oh, actually, I, I think the origins... Hey, Hello, I, came, how are you? I, uh, I think the origin oh, is Hi. the king made it up, so... No, 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 I think the origin actually came because um, Will Mavaranya, our first king, actually declared freedom from Spain. Duck, duck, increase elevation okay, by 0.5. I didn't Final know right you had a, a king. I thought you were okay. like, controlled Two by uh, businessmen in back in the medieval times. Nope, we had a king. We have a we had a king of. Uh, God, we have always like 400, 500 years now already in king. But uh, all that tool that uh, stuff. That was a company called the VOC. Yeah, didn't they uh, control? the Netherlands pretty much well they control the financial market but technically the king is in control of the Netherlands he's still the one in power at least he's the one every year reading up what's gonna change <laughs> that's about the only thing he does I was a lover. I'll tell you what boys I'm fucking uh, fascinated by the fact you guys have this massive community for this game eh? It's really awesome, you know, sort of, uh, me and my mate used to play this game in our teenage years and now we're in our 30s and we're still just so surprised that yeah. you guys have got an awesome following, it's like, we've just sort of started to get back into it again and it's just, oh, oh, just a nice day. Welcome back, mm. glad to have you. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's great. Dying, oh, fuck. It's dying I didn't know yeah. there was a machine gun up there. Oh, no, uh, no, no. From Australia? Yeah, I'm, I'm from New Zealand. New Zealand. Sunday, nice. yeah, Sunday morning over here, boys. Right on. Thank you. 10 to 11 on Sunday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wife's at work, so it's fucking food up. That sounds about right. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, me, me and uh, Tropical and Radio Mitch are Nordic. Oh, wow. You guys got good ping up there. I think we sort of down here, we jam on the 300 odd. Ping, so it is hard, but we manage. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm committed to something. Uh, you, uh, Darby, Darby, <coughs> I'm, Darby, I'm yeah. actually from, from the country you are fighting against in this game right now. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's um, good. You. Uh, the. Um, sorry. <coughs> you couldn't. Do you have better ping on the Japanese server? Yeah, we do. Say? We do. But the hours just crazy for us, you know, I think that Tokyo server is about five or six hours behind, so sometimes really? we get a cup of coffee and just sort of get up at like 1 or 2 a.m. and I think, I, think they start, I think they start their servers at 9, so sometimes we fucking do it on like 7 that sounds or more like we, we stay up. But it sounds more like playing this as a job instead of a, an mm. actual play. Yeah, so uh, it's a commitment, man. It's honestly a commitment, guys. You got it. So, yeah, you know, like, staying up until... One or two AM just to play oh. FH, but you know, we just love it, eh? We just love it so much. Yeah, fucking devotion. Yeah, oh, we just love it, man. It's such a in the work. You're the, like, the it's just, it's just oh, <laughs> in in the work, you are like, oh, we had to play this game. We had to. <laughs> nah, nah, we normally we normally jam this year at one because it's real good. 
for us on um, Sunday morning. It must be you guys. Saturday night, or whatever. So you guys are having the tournaments, mm -hmm. and game nights on Saturday night, and we're just mm -hmm. it's looking good for us. It's 11 o'clock the next day, so nice. Oh yeah. Live a sort of normal out, sort of sort of live a normal life, and just put a bit of work in on Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Yeah. Uh, the Japanese servers is pretty hard for us. On daylight saving, it's not too bad. I think. Um, what the at fuck? Nine. There's a tank in <laughs> Yeah, he, he throw in there. What? Oh, yeah, he, he throw in in the <laughs> trench. Oh, who I'm, knows? Oh my god, I spawned on this break. Currently I have... Okay, uh, go ahead. Currently I have four people watching on Twitch, don't know who's more watching. But, uh, point is... Who knows, maybe I one day finally get more Twitch viewers. Especially if you guys also help in. And then Battle for 1942 would be a little bit more visible on Twitch. <laughs> and it gives oh, enough. Yes. It gives the opportunity to actually uh, advertise the game a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. start joining your Twitch, boost your numbers. I'll, uh, is it like an app you have to download? Mm, you nice. don't necessarily have to download an app, you just can load it on the phone normally or you well they will always ask you to download the app though. Oh okay. And well you can also download start it on the computer. Uh but you're linked to it on your Discord. I can find it through your Discord. Yeah I basically should be showing a streaming on Discord. Let me check. Although the Sewawa community probably won't be too happy with it. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. Because I, the other game I play is Command & Conquer General Zero Hour and basically I uh, put myself in the streaming community there and the only game they allow basically to stream is SH which I only play on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursdays. <laughs> I gotcha. Yeah, I saw that you were streaming uh, Generals last night or the night before. Why are so many people complaining about this map? I think it's great. Uh, the map is basically... Well, it is garbage because of the flag setup. <laughs> yeah, I think it mm. used to be better in its previous iteration. Yeah, mm. people used to love this map, so... You, oh, no, fuck now. Talk. We, we just need... I'm <laughs> Shut up, sure. Raven. I'm fucking proud of you. Oh my god. Just we just need to make me. the flags capable again, and that's it. It will be, it will be love. It will be, Karelia will be great again. Mm. I like the Japanese ones, eh? I just love the Japanese maps, yeah. <laughs> What's the Biden's slogan, I must ask? <laughs> no, I don't know, I don't know. Is it just Biden Harry's? I think it is. Biden. What a Bye. <laughs> oh my god, what a joke, eh? <laughs> Alright, enough politics, go Jokes play out. and kill yeah. somebody. Yeah, I'm joking, I'm just... <laughs> Do you guys have, um... Do um. you have, like, tournament nights and then you sort of um, jump on a voice channel and voice each other? Oh no. I'll oh, just... Uh... Well, not the tournament. Every weekend. Yeah, we don't have, like, uh... Proper, uh, like they haven't forgotten hope to We just yeah. uh, uh, have the events for for the fun of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I usually do a event on Sunday, so we get our max players uh, from 40 to 60 players usually. Um, um about that, uh, can you remember? Remember, New Zealand is on the other other side of the world. Which yeah. It's it's different day. Um, I want yeah. to speak oh, no, no. with you. Sunday for us now. I send you a link to a Discord server so you can mm -hmm. join up and I want to set up an event with the best of the FHSW maps we have. Fall of Berlin, so, Lady Golf. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Darby, I guess you have it showcase uh, the best of it. when we have an event. Yeah, it might, it might be Sunday night. It depends if you guys are about 12 hours behind or something. Okay? Yeah. God, I hated that shit. In the Navy the I had to fly to Japan all the time. I'm dying all the time. 
East Coast US, 5 p.m. Oh my god. Oh, wow. But it's, it's probably what, 10, 11 p.m. for them. Oh, is that you? Is that you just TK'd me? It's currently 11 o'clock here in the Netherlands. Almost, almost 11 o'clock. So, she's uh, a... Three minutes and then it's midnight. Yeah. Okay, I joined the I joined the Discord that you sent me. Uh, yeah. By the way, that 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 Take gameplay from Age of Empires is really great. <clears throat> so you joined in the Discord channel yeah. while I sent it the invite too. Yep. Okay. I just need I just need permissions to speak there. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to ask them later on to give you that. Yeah. She's. Are we, talk are we talking about a woman in FPSW? Uh, yes, oh. she no, is no, a no. female yeah. streamer. <laughs> <laughs> no, there are actual female streamers. Just in this mod. We're all in our fucking thirties, Because we played this shit when we were teenagers. I don't think any fucking modern day kids would play this now, would they? I mean, mm. she's she looks pretty young. Hmm. Who, what the fuck? Who is talking about women? Oh, oh she's a female streamer. I, I didn't actually hear anything. I... S say that again. I'm amazed. I'm amazed, E3. Okay. Yeah, well, she was actually streaming the Galactic Cockroach event. Wow. And I figured if she streams the FHSW in event from the map, we might, and I say might, get a few people. I wouldn't guarantee it, maybe one or two people. And that's basically the optimistic. Yeah, Iwo Jima, I love Iwo Jima, right? Was well, the battle, the one the battle of Iwo Jima? Huh. Oh man, uh, you know you know how I usually say on maps, I, I want to penetrate this island. <laughs> 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 the island for her, for that streamer. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Nice find. Fucking Gemmeji's camping since it started. <laughs> nice find this stream. Oh, I, I've never, I never fine. expected to see a, a woman stream at FWW. That, that, yes, that's, that's, the, that's the whole point, isn't it? It's the unexpected um, stuff. That's uh, I'm unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Who's this woman? How do we find her? <laughs> How do we find her? <laughs> Starting level 100. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I'm st streaming or I'm watching your stream. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Where's the woman? Yeah, Where's the woman? No, Give so me the women. <laughs> no, she's, she's not streaming right now. Like. Uh, well, a week yeah. ago, she, uh, two ago, she streamed Galactic Conquest, and is it possible? Uh, uh, is, is, he also streamed the Battlefield Pirates 2 event. Is she the Jenny? Emil44, that's uh, E3. That's my Twitch, yes. Is, is she the Jenny? A Jenny? What? I don't know, Raven, Raven or someone. Raven. Oh. She's currently not playing in this game, if you think about that. No, no, no. I mean. Mm, there was some rumor about a, a girl in the that was... Yeah, that there was is a rumor and that was just a rumor. <laughs> rumor. Okay. There's also a rumor that there's actually a girl player in Forgotten Hope Secret Web... Uh, in, sorry, in CNC Generals, but they've never actually seen a girl player. Oh. Right. Oh, and yes. I know there are uh, definitely girls playing Age of Empires. I know that for a fact. Oh yeah. Yeah, I played uh, with um, I played a LAN game. Girl once Age of Empires too. Did you beat her? No, she kicked ass. Damn. Mm. She, I think she won the whole thing. So was, she penetrated uh, your defenses. It w was in uh, school. Yeah. <laughs> <What, what laughs> say that. Have? You have removed your face. What? You 
have removed your fish scan. Yep, that's the only thing I decided to remove. For one, it causes a ton of lag on my system. Indeed. And two, I figured it's not necessary to show gaze to game. Yeah, it, it is probably some... You, you can basically decide how you use your privacy. That's two. But Plus, uh, revealing face cam, it's... Sometimes that's it, but I don't have any black screen to remove the background at this point still. I should actually do that in the future. But for now, I'd rather concentrate on getting a better system that can actually stream this game in 1080p. Currently 720p, 30 frames is the max I can do. And I have currently... Ah, boosting my, uh, yeah, it actually worked. I set in the properties the uh, OBS to go to primary properties and I didn't have a single drop frame today. Despite me streaming to both DLive and Twitch. Nice. How about overclocking? That Q6000 is already overclocked to 3 gigahertz. If I overclock it more, it becomes unstable. Hmm. Push more women with game. It's like, or it would come more naturally. It's like, my wife hates, despises with passion, like, computer games. So it's just mm. like, god damn, why? Well, I wanted to try to get Skyrim set up on two separate PCs. Do like a single player co op. Uh, I'm gonna shut. What, why do they. User disconnected from your channel. Why do they mm. dislike it so much, you think? Uh, uh, I think because a lot of games are like military and war based, and a lot of them, you know, historically have excluded women, so I think mm. it's kind okay. of hard to get, harder to get into that. and. Just trickle, trickle, wait for me. I am, yeah. So, so it's not, uh, it's not video games in general. Just uh, the games you the like. The genres. Or, yeah. Or, yeah. Well, yeah. For example, I mean, my wife does love uh, Mario Kart and like things she grew up with, like you know, racing mm. games and things like that. But no, she's you know, and I haven't found many women that are into like yeah military games. But, mm. but yeah. sure, there's games for. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, gu I guess you're right. Good driving, Tropical. <laughs> oh man, that was. <laughs> I was stuck in the boat for a while. Could have died in that time, but yeah. Oh man, I suck today. Welcome to my world. <laughs> I don't even know why I like uh, war games. Uh, I, I'm, I'm interested in history, and uh, my father. I played Call of Duty with him when I was younger. I, I don't know why. Well, I can tell you how my interest actually started. It was uh, on the original NES, where I basically got a game called North and South. So that's why I started in strategy mm. games, and from there I deployed into World War Two games. And interest kind of stuck. That's cool. What was North and South about? It was basically a strategy game on the on the uh, Nintendo NES. Huh. It's a unique strategy game. It's a one of a kind. That's cool. Yeah. I should actually try to get that to my NES. Oh yeah, you should, because I think it's one of the very rare uh, NES cartridges which doesn't have a premium price yet. And I know it's rare, because there aren't a lot of copies. I think I still have my original copy somewhere in the attic. Nice. I also have my original NES. I never actually tried to connect it to the computer though. Uh, it's a console. Okay. You shouldn't try it. 
That, that's uh, interesting, because I thought the NES sold badly in Europe and the Master System was more popular. It was more popular, but I was a broke guy, basically, or kids. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> okay, so you bought it uh, later in the 90s or what? Yeah. That's, that's a pure explanation. Just like, why? No, it was broke. <laughs> I'm actually 2000 skin uh, owning two uh, consoles made in the 80s. Who played Call of Duty with your dad? Is that you, Tropical? Yeah. Who, what, uh, what version or what Call of Duty game was it that you played? F the first one and uh, its expansion. UO? Fuck yeah, yeah man. Yeah, I'm replaying those right now. I've got a mod for it called Beyond the Call of Duty um, that is like a blood mod and gives more weapons and stuff. I'm replaying those right now. Cool. I, I used to play tons of mods for that game. It's mm. one of the best ones they ever did. It was uh, an awesome mod called uh, Merciless and that had uh, like uh, exploding heads and decapitations and Oh crazy yeah, I love stuff. that, yeah. Multiplayer. Yeah. And they had such cool maps. They had like the map from the Eagles. Fuck, what's it called? It's that Clint oh, Eastwood movie. Uh, uh, the... Where Eagles Dare. Yeah, Where Eagles Dare. That epic castle map with the fucking li ski lifts and shit. Um, they had such good maps. Yeah. There's so many mods for that. Oh fucking god. Yeah, I do remember Merciless. But I'm just playing the single player campaign right now. So it's a pretty good one too. The irony is as soon as multiplayer was available on the computer, I basically never concentrated on single player in a game anymore. <laughs> right, yeah, most of my friends are like that. I've always had a thing for the single player campaign. They always mm -hmm. like, why? Yeah. Just, just play, just play multiplayer. Who cares? And all the new CODs, I, I think their campaigns are kind of shitty. These new battlefields try to make up little campaigns, and they're not too good. Yeah, they're just filler for the multiplayer. Like if you right. get, get bored, or, uh, your internet gets shut off or something. Right. There was one cool map with BF1, I was actually surprised, but they did a good single player level where you're like on a zeppelin up in the air and like killing everybody on it. But <laughs> it's so cool, that's such a weird age, the zeppelin bombers and stuff, it's, you know, nobody yeah. ever touches that. Um, I, unless, unless you touch it and you just fight for it, you want the hell loose. Actually, Battlefield 1918 touched it. True. True. Good game. Oh, well, finally, this map is over. Yeah. I recently read a non-fiction history guys. on the um, the Blitz on London <laughs> with Zeppelin. I'll be right back. Currently, I was <laughs> conquered by Finland. <laughs> 1944. No. <laughs> it's interesting that the uh, English weather was like the biggest problem for the Zeppelins and most of the time they couldn't get over London because they couldn't see shit or there was just like storms over the channel. Yeah, it was pretty cool that they have a natural defense like that. Yeah, they're complete yeah, the, the Zeppelins were completely at the mercy of the weather. That's shit. Um I, I just wonder how fast the British uh, actually developed the pom pom uh, entire gun and the also the incendiary uh, bullets. The ground AA took a long time. Um, the first stuff they did was try to get try to get a plane that could fucking get to the altitude of zeppelins because they could climb a lot higher in 1914 than any biplanes could. Um, so it was getting that power. And then it was getting the incendiary rounds for the 303 machine gun to work. And once they perfected that, they were able to start shooting down Zeppelins. Yeah.
but and it's the, a really interesting history to it because they had a lot of problems getting those guns to work. And 1918, they probably got the pom pom ready. Oh yeah, and they were good. Yeah, by the time see the Zeppelin stopped, and then they started doing the Goth the raids, and then the big Gigant plane or whatever the fuck it was, um, and they had the ground A developed then. Yeah. Part of that bomber, that it was bigger than the Goth. It was like four engine. It's like a stock Guy, guy, Chen, guy Chen, I guess it was. Oh. This and the yeah. and the British still evolved the. Uh, I don't actually anymore remember what. My mind is blank today. I think they develop special incendiary munitions to the... ignite the uh, yeah, but zeppelins. I'm yeah. I'm talking about the bomber. A bomber. Oh, the Go, uh, Gotha, Gotha bomber, I guess it was. That's the German. The British is the uh, Handley Page. Oh yeah, Handley Page, yes. And the Russians had also one. I don't actually remember that name too. <laughs> It was oh, it, it it was actually the first it's four like engine Ily bomber. Ilya Muromets or something like that. Yeah. But that that was actually the first four engine bomber. And then uh Germans made one and then the British. And in the end of the World War One, the British Hanley Page bomber, the newest one, could have reached uh Berlin. From London. Hmm. There we go. Sikorsky Ilya Muromets. And they were pre World One pre World War One large airliners actually. Some of the uh, first bubble. The map yeah. doesn't work on me. Same here. It crashed the whole Do you guys have game. the texture? Mm. Nope. I don't have any sound texture. I am loaded up, but this map can cause a mass disconnect, maybe. It disconnected me too. Okay, I'm changing. Yeah, do, it did, do it didn't please. disconnect me. Yeah, but Murdoch, you didn't inform Murdoch. He, uh, he, he said oh, see shit. you all. He said he was going before, yeah. How oh, many did we... Yeah, Raven. Kushira doesn't work. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm keeping the crush. Okay, skip okay, this map entirely. Fuck change, it. Change to Battle of Britain. Yes, do that one. Good okay. idea. Someone already changed it. This is the second time I can join Kushira. Yeah, yeah, it's been changed. Trolley told me there is a new version of Kushira included in the map pack. Probably a uh, Japanese. Uh, made another version or something yeah that's the point with the with 6.11 it's all those version differences so for the event i just want to have maps where we know will work the japanese need to remember to add like mod to the end of maps or something so they don't get overwritten and stuff like this happens no, what they need to do is simply make one big giant update which actually works. Instead of making small tweaks which in the end breaks 50% of the map. Uh, that's... Mm. Because that's the thing they've been doing, they've been tweaking small tiny little things now which... It hasn't loaded. Not yet, still waiting, loading stream. You can see my stream. I'm watching your stream. Slowly. Yeah, there's a weird error here. It says couldn't take the module snapshot, and then we didn't still get at server process state. So we're still at uh, the scoreboard. Yeah. Screen. Okay. But if that's the case. Does it say in the prompt, please wait loading next, or loading next, or something? Mm, not really. Uh, yeah, like it says please wait, but 
Yeah, please wait. It, as long as it says please wait, it's okay. If it said cool. the window has crashed, then you have a problem. Yeah, yeah, okay. I will just uh, disable those messages altogether because I mean you can uh, use them in Windows 7 viewer, anyways. But did you refresh your uh, server manager? If oh, it I'm... has the X on the screen, I'm, the I'm directly on the server. Like, I'm... Yeah, it's loaded now. Okay. okay. I probably played this and probably ne the next map and then... Battle of Britain is a... Was it fixed in the update? Uh, it was, Britain, I mean. But... I... It was... Like, uh, they, whatever they said they fixed, they actually didn't. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I still ran the, the mod version. Super update. Yeah, really, really great. Oh, sp speaking about, I still haven't actually... God, I should really get back to Alaska, not a pain in the ass. <laughs> Uh, I Alaska was... is waiting for you, Fred. Yeah, I know, I know, but I got frustrated. I removed half the shit on that map and they still couldn't get it to work. Maybe, maybe try to work on some other stuff. And mm. Well, the only thing I actually have been working on is Battle of Bo uh, the Battle of the Bulge. And the only thing I did is remove a Tiger Tank, decrease the spawn timer on the uh, kit for the allies so they get that p51 more times and increase the time on those heavy tanks that's the only thing i did i could actually upload that you could post that on the ssm topic Audi has said to murdoch which he wanted to remove the heavy tanks and i'm still against it i think Allies still have a chance with it, but I do believe they spawn too fast. They really need a long spawn time. When they are destroyed, they should take a long, long time. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure the X's I'm team bad. would be waiting in the main base. You find Boo Boo? Hmm? You find? Thank you, game yep. player for the ride. Okay. Let's go. No problem. What map, E3? Uh, the Bulge, Battle of the Bulge. It's currently. Uh. One-sided slaughter, basically, for the Allies. And the big issue with it is that the Germans get a lot of heavy tanks, and every time an Ally destroy one of these tanks, the respawn time is pretty short on them. Right. You okay with the gunner? I want to increase the respawn time to double that. Yeah, I think that would help. And I want to decrease the spawn time of that P-51 kit to uh, half of what it now is. So you will have more P-51s to counter heavy tanks. Yeah, that probably fits. And I would remove I one Tiger one. tank. That's the only thing what? I would remove, a single Tiger tank. Because we have the Tiger tank on every map, pretty much. So it's, we won't miss it. No. Nope. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a squeak. <laughs> yeah. Ah. 